500 feet below the deepest of America's inland seas rests the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Submerged in controversy, it's been explored by only a handful of investigators, each surfacing with new clues to what happened on November 10th, 1975. It was a November gale that sent this freighter to the bottom. But why did the Fitz vanish in seconds without a distress call? We called the Fitzgerald to check on him and see how he was doing. And uh, the last contact we had with him, he said, well, he was going along fine and holding his own and no problems. And then he just didn't listen to her. Join shipwreck researcher Rick Mixter as he descends to the Edmund Fitzgerald diving deep into the mystery through interviews with those who sailed as part of the Fitz's crew. Boy, she does bend a lot for a 10-foot sea. So sometimes it scares me. Captain McSorley had probably been in more storms on Lake Superior than anybody else. He was a heavy weather sailor. Now, in an extended DVD with incredible special features, you can experience every submersible visit to the wreck site and learn from those who led the expeditions. It was so calm that the dog didn't bark. It was just an eerie feeling. If you believe in ghosts and so forth, you can, you can imagine that. The Edmund Fitzgerald Investigations, a 10-year study into the mighty Fitz, hosted by a researcher who has actually been there. Witness never before seen footage from its revolutionary construction. The crane was 70, 79 feet where I sat down on. And I have nightmares about it yet. I'm the guy with the, the death grip on the stanchion when she went in. Hear divisive comments on the ship's upkeep. They know that she's a structural aid, the pitch was not safe. And finally, reach your own conclusions on the final moments of the mighty Fitz. Dive into the mystery of the Edmund Fitzgerald.